everyone. I want to thank to people, um, all the organization. I'm sorry for my voice. I think I've I have a problem with my uh, voice today. I want to tell you about Wikidata and Glam. You know, we are a team and we work voluntarily. We don't get any foundation from this all. generally volunteering project. I'm actually an archaeologist. I have done my master's degree on archaeology and right now I'm trying to continue my doctorate. Our goal is to ex to make it possible to access all archaeological information for everyone. I'm trying to do it. It's really very difficult in the ministry when I was doing my researches there. It was very difficult to access the information about my field. Our first partner was Museum Professional Association. It's a non-profit community. It's an association who work in museums. Our second partner is, I work in English Archaeological Museum. We have a library and collections and archive. We work to make it better, to enhance it. And we have a third partner, which is Wikimedia. We work with Ms. Pashak and the equip behind. Uh, I tell all my wishes and requests to them, and they help me all through them. Actually, as you all know, to be able to get information, to access the information of the museums or important sites, historical sites, of course you want to learn about them more, you want to get information. What is the role of the ministries, archives, and or the libraries, what should they have as a role? Our aim is to make it accessible for the information. As you know, this is not only our heritage. If it's in a local place, it's not our, our only heritage. It's the heritage of all the world. We have visited a turba, which is um, which is a religious site place. And this turba, this place, is an antique structure in Istanbul, and it is linked with the Museum of Antique. The museums are under ministries, and we have important places, historical sites, areas, which are under the ministry too. We have 200 plus turba religious site in Istanbul. Actually, the ministry should be responsible to protect the museums and the heritage, historical heritage. I am continuing. The Museum Professional Association, I have been working as a volunteer. We are working to help the education to let people and children as well. British Institute at Ankara, it is built as an English institute. 
we have collections coming from all archaeological researches all through the years. I am responsible to change it to data, to online. I'm trying to find the photos which are taken on the places, historical places. I'm responsible of that. We want to make all this data with fair principles and a flexible, open, accessible to the information. We are trying to make more data every day. Generally, we have some questions all around mines. How many museums do we have in Turkey? How can I access this as statistics? Uh, is the information open today? Where is the data of the museum? Can I get information from the collections of the museums? So you can get information from Wikipedia and data. You cannot at the beginning. We can have a link. And Wikipedia helps us through this link and get the information. For example, where is this kind of museums? Where? How many museums are there in, in Turkey? Let's check. We can see the two statistics. We can see 2021 year, the year 2021. We can see that 200 over museums in Turkey. When we check different websites, we can see mostly the museums, the numbers of the museums. We have archaeological and ethnography museums, and we have Ataturk's um, historical sites, and we have Turbaz, and the most of them are in Istanbul. We have three painting and sculpture museum. We have army museums. Also, we have naval museum in Besiktas. And we have a museum under Ministry of Museum, Ministry of Arts, Ministry of Museums. And we have special museums, private museums, actually. How many private museums do we have? According to the ministry, if there is a museum, a private museum, it should be under, under the control of the ministry as well as the public museums. More than 200 museums, we have private museums. They did not apply for the documentation, formal documentation, because they are they could not fulfill all the concepts on the conditions. When we see on Wikidata, in March, we gave an education, we gave a training. In America, we have 5,000 items on America. Yesterday, I just checked, and it was 5,800 for America, the titles. So, as you see, in America, in other countries, in Britain, the number of the entries, the number of the items are increasing. In Turkey, we have started to write about them according to the numbers that the ministry has given. It's increased as well. We have we have English and German pages that explains the numbers and the museum information. How can you access the information? You can access museum.org, Turkish museums. You can access the information about the museums over this page. As you see, the links you can access from different websites. Can you access only from one source? Turkish Museums is trying to do it, actually. It's a research. It's a work of ministry. We don't have a permanent ID for any museums. You 
cannot see the IDs over it here, unfortunately. And they publish as an Excel file. As you see, there is one museum and then two historical sites. This antique cans and museums, how can we put all of those in Wikimedia? We have started our project. I will show you some examples of them later. Then, firstly, we started in Turkish, and then we started doing it in English. Then we descripted our aim. First, archaeological and anthropological museums, and then we continued the museums responsible by the ministry. And the general structure is over here. We are this Britain Museum, Wikidata item we had, but it was not responsible of the ministry. We first started the links between this museum is under responsibility of this place, and then we wanted to make a network study of all this structure. Aphrodisias Museum has links with here, and then it is it has links to the ministry. It has another item, as you see. So we are the structure. We will be able to access the information easier. As you see, we see Aphrodista on Wikipedia page. It's worldwide heritage. Some of the sites are not contributed. As you see, the information is missing. Aphrodisias Museum. The museum is. The museum has approval of the ministry as Aphrodisias Musée, but it is actually an antique site city. We need to identify their uh, other potential names too. We also have queries. I will show you the queries, how to contact, con connect them, how can we see the maps on the maps. Do we have any images of them? Or do we need to do any studies, any work to upload the images? We have studied, worked about it. Firstly, we want to visualize the photos on the map, on the images. It is not possible to make it with three or five people to work voluntarily. So we have a training. We got this education, started a study, and the name of the study is Vicky Loves Museums. So accurate information can be accessed via doctors entering about health information, accurate health information, and museum about information, about museum information, people who work in museums should enter, enter accurate information. So this all planning has been done. In Turkish Wikipedia, there was no International Museum Day uh, entry title and it is on right now it's on it's working on Wikipedia what is our aim to work as much as possible to have this fair conditions to make it accessible for everyone we have some subtext missing we should be filling all these sub subtexts we want to submit all of this information completely and accurately and we want all the information to be seen by everyone 
we want to avoid this uh, time, a lot of time for these users that will they that they will spend their time to access accurate information. We want to avoid it too much time, spending too much time on it or wasting their time. As you see, we have our stages of the project. It is on Wikipedia right now. We have a problem actually about the fields of the museums. There is a problem like which museums are called ethnographic museum, which museums are called aesthetic museums, or they want some. One of our friends wanted to start natural museums. He wanted to he wanted to start writing about natural museums, adding them on Wikipedia. As you see, the data is accessible via, via Wikidata right now. The first aim was to, act, to establish a Wikidata base at the beginning. Then we want to add the links, the references, and the historical sites. We should also see that these historical sites are under the museums or not, under the responsibilities of the museums or not. If we are missing any images, we are trying to we are trying to establish some competitions. It's not easy for us, even it's not possible for us to go to the museums, each and every one of them, and get information of their locations, of info inside. It's not possible for us. As you see, some info is linked with the museums, for example, this by the Sultan, and we should have her date of birth, date of death. So we, the information is linked, and we should definitely inform everyone about this kind of information, linked information. I believe that we should work a lot more. We should give more I'm inviting dear Mr. Uh, Amir Aharoni to present his presentation, presentation to us. Hello, uh, shalom. Good um, uh, evening. Uh, uh, if I understand correctly, uh, we, we will make you louder here. Okay. Uh, I will be speaking mostly Russian, and that will be uh, uh, translated to Turkish and to English. Uh, uh, so, I'll speak Russian. We'll start. We need to make 
Can you see my slides? Can you see the presentation? Okay. So let's start. First of all, I want to, I'm very grateful for all the organizers because I like Turkic languages. I don't know Turkish so good, but I've studied it. I like Istanbul very much. Unfortunately, I cannot come to you today, but I am connected to you online. I hope myself in Istanbul and I'm drinking Turkish coffee. Today, we will talk on technical theme, but please do not sleep. It's not so terrible. It will be interesting for you all. For all of you who are using Wiki sites and Wikimedia, all of you who are translating. So, everything will be interesting for you. Okay, we will talk today about the translatable modules. So I will let you know what is translatable, what is module, and maybe it will be... It will be easy for you to understand for the people who will be here, who was here ne last year. That's why I gave such a name to this presentation and I'll give you some topics today I hope it will be interesting for you I'll talk about nature about arts and about Turkish countries Okay, so this is from the country Saha. It's one of the eastern part. Okay, so first, what is localization and what is translation? Here you can see panel. It should be formal for all of you who are writing in Wiki. It is the panel for the edition. On the top you can see the panel in English. And then you see the same in Turkish language. So we have everything the same. But the names written are written in different languages. So how could we can do it? We are doing this on the website. It's formal for you. We can see all the context in English, which is using in IT and in Wikimedia. It's written in English. And there is a translation. So there is an example how to translate it into Turkish. We can use Wikibase Vikpo. It provides us to use this website. And most of this is translated into Turkish. So Turkish language here is in good mode. So everything is in uh, green, as you can see, green color. It means that most of things are translated. And what is in blue, it means like it should be translated. Now, we can see on the side core. Okay, now I'll explain you what is core and what is extensions. So core is the middle of the platform that is using on the website. It shows us how to edit the page and extensions. So you know what is extensions? Like we can extend the visual data, it can show us the pages on the phones, and so on. Okay. Everything translated in 
going to wiki.me and EAT. So how to translate it? You can see the examples, how to translate it into Turkish. So have you ever heard about Abstract Wikipedia? It is a new site, web website. It's based on the data. But here, it translated. it. You can see on the top, green line. It was translated before. We can see the white line. It's not translated yet, not translated into Turkish yet. And we can see yellow lines. It was pr translated before, but we should update them so that this is uh, this word should be updated it's written that they are outdated so we should update them now you can see 